How's it going everybody? I'm Nikki, this is Camper, and we live in this 2006 Toyota Prius. Welcome to our home. If you saw in our last video, car broke down in Florida, but lucky for us, we have family in Southern Florida, so we took the drive and we had to gut the car, so I thought that would be the perfect opportunity to show you in full detail how we pack the car, what's inside, and the purpose of everything. Camper, you ready to show them? Oh yeah, we got a lot of good stuff. You're gonna learn so much. Well, awesome. Before we get started, Camper, what do you wanna tell them? Don't forget, like, subscribe, share with your friends, turn on notifications if you like me, and help support us. <gasps> That's right, Camp. Thanks, man, you did so good. All right, let's show you the car. Hi friends, I'm Nikki Delventhal, and this is my best friend, Camper. I've been living out of my Toyota Prius since the winter of 2019 going into 2020 to explore the Americas and its natural beauty. I met Camper along the way. He found me on a remote hiking trail. He's the best thing that ever happened to me. About three months ago, we decided to start a YouTube channel and quickly became monetized. And now we've decided that with all of our external ad revenue, we were gonna make the world a better place. Just by watching this video, you're helping fund animals and families in need through our project called Camper Cares. So from the bottom of our hearts, thank you so much. Before Camper and I fill the car back up, let me show you how much we fit into our Prius for the two of us. It's a little bit of a tornado in here, which I'm fine with because I can't do that in a car. <laughs> This is everything we own, mattress and all. So we got our bike, Camper loves the bike. The compartment that goes above the spare tire, underneath the mattress, and our two coolers and bike locks also. Oh, Grandpa. All right, to start our tour, Camper, he's on Squirrel Watch just in case. Let's start with the hatch. So a lot of people who don't own a Prius, or maybe even if you are a Prius owner, you don't realize how much storage room is back here. So first thing is this is where your spare lives. And it also has a jack. Now in this little compartment right here, I put other tools that I might need just in case my car breaks down and I need to do it myself. I do recommend having AAA, something along those lines. If you live in your car, you can never be too careful. I have broken down four times in the past year. It happens. It's a very reliable car. You never know. We'll get the compartment that goes in the hatch. Now this thing is awesome. Look how roomy it is. So I have an air compressor and ice pick. This is not an ice pick. I don't know what they're called, but I know how to use them. I also have an extra pair of jumper cables for the reason that my battery jump starter, there's been a couple occasions that the battery had drained and it didn't jump start the car because it didn't have enough battery from sitting around over time. So it's smart to have a backup. This actually goes under the seat in the front because if you don't know this, a Prius hatch will not open if your car dies. It's always smart, especially when you live in a car to just have extra emergency items because when you're in an emergency, you're gonna wish you had them. Along with that, I have extra toilet paper, paper towels, lint roller, it's just doubles as a really good cleaner. When a vacuum doesn't work, I vacuum once a week. I'll use this to pick up some dog hair and extra dirt. Underneath here, I have paper bags. Uh, I really like paper bags for the fact that I eat a ton of avocados. And did you know, if you put an avocado in a paper bag, it ripens faster. One thing that I love is clear plastic containers. I only buy these for storage for the fact that it's easy to find where things go. So in this compartment, Gorilla Tape, shoelaces, because Camper likes to eat shoelaces, my laundry so I can do hand washes. I also have a stopper for in the sink. Just a bunch of odds and ends, bungee cords, ropes. So that'll go right here next to my extra shoes if I ever wanna wear my Converse or just a pair of nice fancy flats. Extra towels. Uh, I always have a ton of towels. I use them all the time. I like to reuse things. Jets umbrella if it's ever raining or it's just really sunny. Fun fact, used to cheer for the New York Jets, so I may be a little biased. Oh, that was fun. Go Jets. But one more plastic bin is odds and ends like first aid kit, sewing kit, extra bags, and my hair kit. One of the many ways that I make money on the road is I'm a hairdresser. So I bring that with me, and when I meet people and they need a haircut, 
I'm gonna go too. So if you see me on the road, let me know if you need a haircut. So that's the compartment, nice and easily laid out. The number one thing about living in a car is organization and knowing where everything is, or you'll go crazy and you're not gonna last. Excuse me, camper. Can we close up the hatch here, please? Thank you. The mattress is next. And it's already made. This mattress is amazing. I custom fit it to my car. So fun fact, electric turkey cutter on memory foam works like a charm. You just might not have a turkey cutter when you're done. My mattress is only two inches shorter than a full-size mattress. So if you do have a Prius and you're shopping around, full-size mattress would be fine if you wanna do the whole thing and then just trim it up to size. Pulling the mattress back halfway because I gotta put my coolers in. Getting a set of rows on the way. Oh yeah. So I used to have a set of weights, but now I just use the things I own. This is like maybe 25 pound weight. I chose to put coolers behind each seat because it also acts as a perfect level for the mattress. This is a 35 Yeti Tundra, fits everything I need perfectly and extends the ice life, so I like that. Both coolers are for food storage and they fit perfectly right behind the seats. So you'll see now when I come over here and I pull the mattress back over, it's a perfect level for my bed. Next, we're gonna utilize the space next to the mattress in these little cubbies. We utilize all space when we live in a car. In this area, there's towels. I use them to shower, I use them to clean my dishes, I use them to clean camper. I'll use it to wipe off his feet before we get in the car. The compartment on this side is even deeper. These blankets, look at that, all the way down, and I can still fit my other one. So just in case it does get cold, I have my Mexican blanket and my Sherpa, and then I'll take my thin down and I just lay this across the back or I make it. I also have a zero degree sleeping bag that is upstairs in the roof box. I am going to put out another video all about how I stay warm in the winter, cool in the summer, and dry when it's raining. So check the link in the description for that video. But in short, Camper and I have slept in nine degree weather before and we got a perfect system for it. So I will teach you how to do that. Now to show you what goes between the two coolers and also demonstrate for you how I get to these items. I have this cube just for storage, but also when I take out my coolers, nothing will fall out. So I have a hair dryer. There are a few luxuries that I just didn't want to get rid of. A hair dryer and a brush is one, but also, like I said, I'm a hairdresser. So if my client wants her hair blow dried and I go to her house or we use a power station and also different odds and ends, I have razors, extra toothbrush and toothpaste because I am notorious for losing my toothbrushes shampoo conditioner so that will go in the center so to level that area i'll take my shower bag i have a video on all the methods that i shower whether it's wild showering gallon jug showering it's very informational and i think it's funny as hell so take a look link in the description but this goes right here we brought this up once this battery jump starter for when your car dies goes right here underneath the seat this is also where any non-perishable food items will go, like the oat milks that I use. Next, I'm gonna utilize the space in my cubbies. Just a note, I lived in my car for an entire year before I had a roof box, before I had these cubbies. It's possible. This is just my second year upgrades. If you wanna learn how to make one of these though, I do have a video on it. It was super fun and it's super doable. Don't be intimidated. One of my favorite things, just this little piece of wood. How I use this is I'll put this up, put the wood right there, and that will keep this open for me instead of having to prop it open. When you take out your back seats and you make cubbies, you have a ton of extra room. One tip I have is I use different bags for different things and I label them. So I'm not searching around and I know what everything is. The first thing that will go in is all of my favorite jackets that are multi-purpose. Just in case I do wanna do something, I have my two going out shirts. That's all I have. All the rest is workout clothes. By the way, I have not gone out yet, so it might be time to get rid of those. Long sleeves, thermals, but it's like 75 to 80 here. Perfect weather, don't really need these. Also right in the side here goes my super warm jacket. Oh, lipstick. More hiking gear. Because we hike four to six days a week, I never have too much because I don't like doing laundry very often because this is also insulated this is where i might put my electronics in between the clothes for just a little extra layer of insulation if it gets super cold or super hot during the day 
which rarely happens anyways because for the safety of camper, I tend to avoid extreme weather so he is safer. Whatever we do, we keep camper in mind first. It's kind of something that happens when you get a dog, you just all of a sudden put them first. Same with a kid, right? So I don't go places he's not allowed. I don't go grocery shopping when the sun is up. I think about him, I think about his safety, and if he's not 110% safe, I don't do it. Also, because I have the space on this side, I have a water heater. This is for rainy days. Uh, this will boil water in 17 minutes just by plugging it into the car right in front while you're driving. But that is one of my favorite additions for a rainy day. Next up, my Jackery portable power station and solar panel. I have two of these. I already have one on the other side. This thing's amazing. You can just pop these out, absorb the sunlight, and you have power all day, if not longer. This is going to go right under my mattress. Reason being, it's so thin, it doesn't affect the height really, and if anything, it makes it more comfortable for me. So I love that. Then my Explorer 1000, this was a great upgrade. And look, I haven't even taken the plastic off. I am so happy I had an address to send this to. Once I found out that I was gonna be here for a week between my car breaking and camper surgery, I got this. So this goes right here, fits perfectly between the mattress and the door on top of the cooler. What I love about this product is if you do work remote like I do, or you're always on the road, you can always have power. Charges up through the solar panels by the sun, or I'll have this plugged into the car charging as I get to my next destination. Moving on. And then we get into another plastic bin, which is more odds and ends, utensils, salt, pepper, another headlamp, some more pepper spray, bags. This goes sideways like this. And then this is where a couple water bottles will go. Right here on this handle, carabiner and my wash sponge. Uh, this usually is drying here. Easy access. Perfect fit. Next is the front area. I will push this back. My self-defense bag will go right here during the day. Put water bottles right here under the seat. Put camper's box in there, food bags, food, uh, different size leashes. So that'll go in front. I will also put another water bottle right here. Dog shampoo more treats, nail clippers, poop bags. But I do this because now it's perfectly level for camper. I also always have one or two of these. Reasons being, if I am somewhere where I don't feel safe getting out of the car, I'll pee in it. Self-explanatory. Right above these two bins is a custom bed that I created. I have a video on that. Feel free to check it out if you want to know how I made it. With this side door, I have plastic bags. One thing that I urge to everyone is if you are going to do this lifestyle, before you even think about getting in your car or camping, look up Leave No Trace Ethics and read everything you can. There are so many things that we don't realize that we're doing that have such an impact on the environment, other people that are really disrespectful and we don't even know it. One of those things is pooping. This is a fold out shovel. Look up how to do that in nature, please. Do yourself a favor. This is very important. Um, and honestly, when we're wild camping, we use it. White vinegar, I use this for cleaning dishes. No chemicals and kills all bacteria, really wonderful. Some soap and more dog poop bags. LNT Ethics, look it up. Coffee cup and just another water bottle. This will go in the center here, along with Camper's water bowl. This is kind of like my junk drawer and stuff I use often. So I'll have baby wipes. If I'm doing really long hikes, like um, I've done like 27 miles in one day, ibuprofen, more pepper spray. Let's talk the top here. This is gonna be flashlight, a cutting knife, my hairbrush, a bandana, SPF for the face that I use all the time. Uh, the reason I have my toothbrush and toothpaste in this area is for the mere fact that I use it every morning and night and this is easy access. My headlamp and carabiner, that actually goes over here and it just hangs. Uh, I wanna make sure I always know where my headlamp is. This is also where I put my hair clips. 
generally there are like 10 of them on here, but as usual, I've lost all 10 of them and need to buy more. All of this stuff fits right here. That's a lot of stuff. So let me show you how I organize it. Chopping wood, axe, and also doubles as a scary weapon for intruders. This will go right here in front of the cooler. Along with my running sneakers, I always use breathable bags. Let them dry out before you put them in your car though. My car always smells good because I take the extra time to make sure that everything I put in there is clean and if it doesn't smell good, I put it in a bag where odors cannot escape until I can wash them. Just like the other side, I have a piece of wood. I'll lift this up and prop it open. And now I'm gonna fill this up with things that I really use almost every day. So in the back, I'm gonna do my extra fuel canisters, my hiking materials, everything you can need from water purifiers, life straw grill. I have my lightweight hiking poles, hydration tablets, a wind guard, bug spray, just lightweight things for when I'm hiking and I can just throw it in my backpack and not have to think twice. So I always have this stocked up with everything I need. If I run out, I immediately replace it. I like to put things in bags. I just think it keeps things more organized and they're different color bags. So battery powered fan for when it's super hot. I actually have another one. So sometimes this is on the dash because it's solar. So this will charge in the sun and I don't have to utilize the very few charge up stations that I do have. Just some vitamins, sunscreen and bug spray right in the front, a tripod selfie sticks, my coffee setup. So everything I use for coffee, this has my AeroPress, Jet Boil, coffee grinder. I have a very bougie coffee setup. You can check that out on my coffee video. And lastly, the big bowl that I always eat from, a couple of paper ones just in case, and a jar because I do very often use that. So this fits perfectly there and we're all packed up. As I say, utilize all your space. This right here is where I put my window covers for before I go to sleep. These are a game changer. They work like a glove on your window. It keeps the bugs out. It keeps the sun out slightly. I like it for the bug aspect. It just slides right over, Velcros to the side, and voila, you put your window down to here and you have a perfect airflow with no bugs and keeps the dust out as well. I actually, these are my winter bug screens, and then I have summer bug screens that are a thinner material. You go on the side right here, along with an eye mask, which I don't use as often since making my blackout window covers as really no light gets in. This is what they look like on both sides. My camp cup, so I don't lose it. This always just hangs right here. And this is also where I put my keys at night so I don't lose them and I know where they are at all times. I have my window covers. They are also easy to store. And so every morning I go ahead and just rewrap them up because all that organization, beautiful. And they'll go on the side. With this, I'll demonstrate with Velcro. They just go ahead and stick on up there. If you want to make them, I also have a video on that. In the back here will also go my pillows, my normal clothes for the day, and my pajamas. Next is Camper's dog bed, but before I put his dog bed down, so I have a sheet. I put this on every day in the morning and I take it off every day at night very carefully because I'm all about cleanliness and this helps a ton. And then I put one of his dog beds right here. So he has all this space right here if he wants to hang out while we're driving. He's really great in the car, so he generally just sleeps here or <laughs> comes all the way to the front right here and has his paw on my shoulder. What a cutie. This is kind of my self-defense bag. I find self-defense very important. I will have a video on safety, but in here is everything from bear spray, mace, stun gun, super alarms, just all the safety stuff that makes me feel better. Let's talk center and dash. So on my dash, I have tissues. These are Lucy lights, uh, solar lights. They open up at night these hang and they expel a ton of light. They're solar powered, so you never have to worry about charging them. So I'll put those in the sun all day. I have two with carabiners on them. Along with that, this is a phone charger that's also solar charged. Although 
the Prius is like a generator on wheels. You can only charge so much as you're driving. So I like to utilize solar. Next is also a fan. I really like this one because how cool is this? You can hang it. So when it's really, really hot, I will hang this one in the front or on one of my handles and let this go. But the coolest part is it's also solar charged. So while I'm driving at any time, this will be my setup. So I always have light, a fan and a charger thanks to the sun. So the center here, I have a wine key, bottle opener, a lighter, selfie remote, because I do all of my own filming unless I can utilize a family member. I'm so happy I have them today. Toilet paper actually just goes in the front right here. My sunglasses, lint roller, all my ladies, you know what that is. Cords, I can charge my computer, my phone, or my portable power station while I'm driving. I have extra charging banks. I have about five of them. It's just, you know, when you're living in a car, you just wanna make sure you have power. There's different masks or wind guards for when I'm hiking. Another knife. Next, the driver's area. Another gallon jug of water. This will go on the dash. Right here, most of the time, in four hours in direct sunlight, you will have warm water so you can take a shower. So I always have one up there. I do not buy new water every time. I refill it at any point that I can. I'll even use one of my water purifiers when I get to a fresh water source and put it in there. Now let's talk this door handle. Quarters for when I'm doing laundry or a coin shower. Hand sanitizer. I put coconut oil on every night, so coconut oil. Remember when I told you about this? This is for emergencies. Dish soap when I have to get really heavy duty, but I generally just use the white vinegar on the other side. All right, next up we have the roof box. I did not fully empty this, so I'm just gonna show you what's in there and then what else is gonna go in. Okay, so we're in the roof box. First thing I have, zero degree sleeping bag, water bladders for hiking, my slack line, tarp. This is a bike cover for if it's ever really dusty and I'm going down a dirt road. My hiking boots. I actually have two pairs because I go through them so fast. FYI, actually, please anyone, if you see these Vasque Talus old style boots in a 9M, they're the only hiking boots that fit me. Oh, I would go to heaven if you could find them. Next, I have my hammock. This is actually just a really fun onesie. Sometimes I wear it. I know it's weird. Inflatable paddle board. On top of that is the pump, a yoga mat. We got crampons and water shoes. Now let me show you what else goes up in this baby. Rollerblades. As you can tell, I really love my sports. So, whew, this is hard to do yourself. This is gonna go on the edge. Oh yeah. I rollerblade every chance I get. I'm working on teaching camper how to rollerblade. Super fun. My workout equipment, I have bands that go around the legs for the arms, lacrosse ball, just all different workout things. I used to teach fitness. I was a Wilhelmina fitness model. Fitness has always been something I'm into and always going to be. My helmet for when I'm gravel biking or doing any sports. My climbing shoes. I really, really love climbing, especially boulder climbing, so I always have these with me as well. A couple different backpacks and fanny packs for lumbar support and camper's backpack. Camping chairs. Camper actually loves sitting on chairs, so he gets one for himself. All of my bike stuff. Lube, cleaning supplies, seat cover, three U-locks and a chain lock. And then last but not least, my camping table. This is one of my favorite purchases. It's super thin, folds up 20 bucks at Walmart, and we still have all this extra room if I ever want to fit anything else. I'm actually going to the store to get Camper more food, but generally all of his food would go right here. We close it up, and once I get the gravel bike on, we have a fully packed car. Almost forgot, it's a small handheld bike pump for the tires. Not my favorite bike rack, but the most practical for what I'm doing and easiest to secure and lock super tight. In case anyone was wondering, I put two U-locks right here, a chain lock going around, 
one that goes through the tires and this one that goes over. And that way, anyone who even wants to think about theft, well, they really have to think about it because it's gonna take a lot of work. Another unbelievable addition I totally forgot to tell you guys about is I lifted my Prius an inch and a half and now I don't bottom out and that's the best thing I ever did. Oh, also this week I'm putting rain guards and tents on my car. So that's gonna be huge. And that is how Camper and I pack our car to live in it. What are you gonna slap me in the face, mister? Thanks for watching. Don't forget, like, subscribe, share with your friends. Camper and I will teach you everything you need to know and show you everything you need to see. Right, baby? That's right. Don't forget to turn on notifications. Thanks, guys. See you next time. <sighs> I thought that Velcro was him peeing. <laughs> He's never peed in the car. Don't worry, guys. Pre-eye, whatever you want to call it. I like pre-eye. What, are you finding the squirrels again?